Good morning, folks. Bruce Gary is a beast. In my opinion, he and his website are dominating the comet ISON coverage, at least until the satellites get a better view. Here's his image from yesterday. He claims two things. First, it's slightly less bright than expected, indeed having faded slightly inside with a significant expansion and brightening of the outer coma. His website is linked for you below. Kicking to the U.S. climate records. As I highlight 2013 thus far, compare it to the line below. Heat records crushed 2012, but cooler records are ahead so far in 2013. The lead right now is down to about only 1,000, and that's due to a Herculean comeback by heat last month. The Midwest August boiler all but erased what had been a significant deficit in favor of cold records. By the way, September kicked off with frost warnings in New England, and it does appear our next major cold swing is a day or two away. Let's look at the tropics. Yucatan Peninsula, flanked by development. Neither appears willing to have mercy on us here. Gabrielle's track, officially shifted to Nova Scotia. You hear me, Stony? Umberto still a ways away from being relevant to land. This enhanced infrared shows the power of the primary focal storms. New Zealand, happy to say goodbye to a pretty bad line of storms, with weaker ones spread west all the way to past Perth. Main story in Central Europe is the power low at Germany, regulating the cloud motion over most of the continent. On the U.S. wind map, we see cool dry air headed south from Canada. It has two convergence points, first in the west central states meeting a drive up from Texas, and the other shifting eastward will be in New England by sundown, and those spots are where the top threats are this evening. Folks, I obviously don't want any killer solar flares, but atmospheric expansion depends on moderate ones. The delicate balance is required, but this supposed high time of activity, now about to dip a toe into A range. And sunspots? Not really. Incomer needs his Wheaties. Solar wind density, speed, and temperature are all within normal range. No magnetic instability. Mars and Mercury magnetically connected to the backside of the sun. Venus has a proximity warning so close to that sunspot, but... That one has virtually no chance of flaring today. We see the center disk turning coronal holes and the small but equatorial trailer coming in behind her. Iswa still showing weakness associated with these holes, and what do you know? No major quaking. This could be the next quake subfactor introduced here, and no, it would not have happened without collaboration with you guys. So thanks. A moderate 5 to 6 watch continues. Plasma filaments and other shots of our star to close? Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.